clarity to the world when it's rushing by on either side in a total blur. A day of work for Australian Toby Price means going over 100 miles per hour on a motorcycle. He's at the top of his field because he literally holds the throttle wide open more than anyone on the planet. Here we are in Alice Springs in the Northern Territory. Yeah, you come out here and you just get that sense of freedom. You, you hop on your bike and, and it's pretty much a rider's dream. Incredible trails, open speed highways. We hold it south and get out here and flap off the back of it. My approach to life is probably a little bit different to a lot of people. With my racing, I've had really good times and I've also had a lot of bad times. And I think just from the bad times, it's made me approach things a little bit different. Kind. 2013 just completely changed my life with uh, breaking my neck in three places. I don't remember the crash, I don't remember how it happened, what it was all about, but the doctors pretty much rushed in, were like, you're pretty much on the edge of being in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. And uh, so I ended up breaking C6, 7 and T1 in my neck, which uh, that high up would have definitely changed my life completely. I'm a wild Now I've got eight screws and three rods in my neck that literally just hold my head on. It's a pretty serious injury to, to uh, a lot of people probably would have packed up and walked away from any chosen sport that they're in um, at that point. But uh, look, like I say, I only get one chance at life and um, motorcycle racing is the only thing I know. Red Centre of Australia, it's a crazy place. For anybody in the world, one to tick off a bucket list for sure is the Fink Desert Race. It just, it's fast, it's crazy racing, it's hard on man and machine. 230 kilometre race from Alice Springs south uh, to a little small community called Apatula. It's a feeling like no other going down that track at speeds 170, 80 kilometres an hour. There's one jump right at the finish line there nearly that uh, basically everyone lines that little piece and kids are excited, they're over the moon that you're coming down, they, they hear you coming and they, they're jumping up the side of the fence. Just to see their smile on their faces just uh, makes you happy that you're there and, and putting on a show and having a great time with all the, all the people that are down there. Any chance that comes up with four wheel racing, two wheel racing, if it's there, I'll, I'll have a crack at it and give it 100%. through and through. I get to travel the world doing something I love doing on a dirt bike, but I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I love Australia that much, and when my racing career is done, I'm in a wheelchair or a walking frame and full of arthritis and uh, from riding dirt bikes, I'm always gonna come back to Australia and uh, see out my time here and be a menace here.